Hey everybody and welcome to another Jamovi tutorial. In this one I want to talk about a feature of Jamovi that is very useful to students or yourself if you're not a student. <laughs> if you're having problems with the Jamovi desktop app, as some of my students have had issues in the past, um, specifically with Chromebooks is what I've noticed, but there have been uh, a few people who have had issues with Jamovi in the past on Macs and PCs. And so if you have issues with the desktop version, well, Jamovi has an amazing cloud version that is pretty much the full suite of base analyses. You can add modules to them and it's in beta. So they want you to know that it's in it's in fiercely in beta. And so they're testing it out. So what I wanted to do in this video is just briefly show you the cloud. So when you click on that on their main page, you will be taken to this disclaimer page, you know, before you get started, it says note. Jamovi Cloud is in beta, which means it's still in development. Some rough edges and the occasional downtime are to be expected. Of course, it is a cloud, so you are using other people's servers. It's not on your local machine. So you are at the whim of both your own internet access and then the server where Jamovi Cloud is and its access to the internet. So when we click on start, it will open up a new tab for you and it will bring up this message here. Hi, welcome to our cloud version of Jamovi. This is a web-based version of Jamovi and is still in development. If you are after the mature, stable, full-featured version, it is available from our download page. Be aware that this cloud version undergoes periods of maintenance and is unavailable at times. Additionally, it may cease functioning without warning at any time. Okay. This is new from last semester um, when I used, when some of my students had to use it. They did not have any login here. And so you can continue as a guest, which I think is pretty amazing. Um, you can sign in with an email address. I'm pretty sure this gets put on some sort of mailing list. Um, you can sign in with Microsoft. Uh, I'm assuming this is an Office 365 login uh, or an Outlook login, something like that or you can sign in with Google. I'm just going to continue as guest. I'm not going to put my login credentials on, on this video. So you can just continue as guest. I imagine that um, these three options might allow you to save information. Again, this was not a feature back in April of this, of this past year as of recording 2022. So this is relatively new. But in any case, as you choose one of these four options, you indicate that you accept their terms of service and privacy policy because you are technically using their devices, uh, their devices technically, as opposed to downloading it through um, GNU and open, um, open license policies for downloading the program onto your computer. So I'm going to continue as guest and see it's going to open here and it's going to do the starting session. And it is running 2.3.15. So honestly, I wonder, it does. It has the, so a video I just put on the, on the, uh, the channel um, is the uh, accessibility options because that came in in uh, 2, 2, 3, uh, 15 here. Um, so yeah, you can use this as a um, accessible keyboard only, which is pretty, pretty awesome. So I'm going to turn those off for now. Uh, this is new here. Ah, this is me. I'm a guest. Okay, so if you sign in, yeah, it looks like you can uh, save some stuff. Uh, moving forward, which is great. So that's a new feature, being able to use uh, the cloud as an ongoing. Obviously, you know that it's in beta, right? And so you shouldn't put all of your eggs in one basket. So, but if you are having trouble with the desktop version, you have this backup. Modules, I wonder, okay, so can you manage what's installed? Ooh, so they do have, Jamovi library is not available on this plan. Okay, I love it how they say plan. Okay, so you can't add any more, but you have survey MV, which is survey plots from Ravi. Obviously, Ravi, if you're not aware, is one of the devs on Jamovi. Um, they have the LSJ learning statistics with Jamovi. This is perfect. Having these data sets available in the um, cloud is awesome. Our data sets, which I have myself, and then Scatter, which is also from Ravi. Oh, that's that's really cool because it doesn't know who I am, and so it shouldn't know what uh, it it shouldn't know what is going on. These are the ones that I have installed on my machine i wonder maybe i'd use this in safari or something i don't know yeah but that's cool at least it has all of that you know data sets things that you can work with there um so those are the modules but then we have all of the base analyses that you can use and you can use the um open and data library or this device this device is going to bring up your uh system dialog box system file manager file um search so here here's finder and there are my podcast thumbnails for YouTube. Cool. <laughs> but data library, you can see that it has learning statistics with Jamovi there and the uh, our data sets uh, and then the four base data sets that you get for Jamovi. And then you can save as and then you can export. And of course, the export is defaulted to PDF, but you can export to a lot of other different things. Um, and then recents. Now, I imagine recents won't show if you are operating as a guest. But um, yeah, this is this is the cloud. It's it's there. Like, uh, let me let me do let me do just one quick thing for you all, because I think that would be important. Let's bring up big five here. It's going to open up in the same window. So it doesn't open up a new tab, but it's the data. And, uh, you know, my, my machine is a 
pretty decent machine, but you can see that there's a little bit of a, a lag in uh, sh as you scroll in, in the data. That's, you know, that's just a visual thing. But, you know, the data is all there. And if we go and, of course, we can, just like in Jamobi, we can drag this back and forth. And let's do a correlation. Let's just do a correlation matrix. Oh, you can go here to set your um, visual uh, piece of information so we can, you know, turn off. Oh, there it is. Never mind. Ah. <laughs> oh, good stuff. All right, let's go back to the correlation matrix. Let's just do this thing. All right, plop that in there, uh, drag those over, plop them in, and there you go. There it is. You can get your flag significant correlations. You can get your confidence intervals. You can do all these things. You can get the correlation matrix. You can get your densities. The only thing you can't get, apparently, are the is the heat map. Um, it takes a the speed at which plots show up are, of course, going to be dependent on the processing power of your machine and then the throughput of your um, internet. So, if your internet's not great, this is going to be slow. Because remember, all the calculations are happening on Jamovi servers, not yours. That's, what, that's why the desktop version is perhaps more desirable. But of course, if you're having problems with that, then this is a, this is a, a perfect solution. And I've already told my students that if they don't want to download the uh, app on their computer or if they can't download the app on their computer, so if they're having issues with like, you know, if they have a Chromebook or something and, and they can't get it to work, the installation to work, then, um, then they could just use the cloud. And it's totally free. It has some extra limitations. Okay, you can't add the the modules. You can't. Uh, it could stop working at any time. Um, you're dependent on whatever version they have set it up for. You, you know, all server side stuff. But it's still a great option. And so I recommend checking it out, especially if you use Jamovi in your teaching. That's going to do it for this video. Thanks to you for watching this exploration of the Jamovi cloud. Take a look over here, the Jamovi cloud. Um, if you have any comments, suggestions, or feedback, please leave those down below in the comments. Thanks for watching.